WNEM TV 5 News starts right now with a breaking news alert. We continue to follow breaking news tonight. The search for a nine year old boy has come to a tragic end. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carrie Sharp. And I'm Meg McLeod. As we've been reporting live on air this afternoon, the father of Omarion Humphrey confirms his, son body, his son's body was found in Lake Callis today. The discovery was made after a nearly week long search for the boy in Genesee County's Davidson Township. TV 5's Ronnie Duncan joins us now live from there with the latest. Ronnie. Thank you, Carrie. As each day went by, we knew that the grim responsibility was very unrealistic, whether or not we would ever see a Marion Mars Humphrey alive. And that reality became our worst nightmare. Take a look at this video, because at around 1230 this afternoon, police responded here at the Lake Callis. A body had been found, and it fit the description of nine-year-old Omarion Mars Humphrey. I was able to confirm that death through his father in a phone conversation in which he said his son was dead. And even though police do not want to go on record to say that was indeed Omarion's body, they have called off the search. Listen to Chief Rick Freeman. First responders confirmed the body of a small boy was found deceased in the water. So now it is up to police, it is up to this community, and it is up to those in law enforcement to find where do we go next. Why? Because now it comes into the suspicion play. Why was this kid, who is autistic, left alone in a situation with over 500 people at a park? And a lot of that attention is now drawing to the individual who happened to be the foster mom, Lulu Richardson. There would be many questions to answer whether there was some neglect on her behalf. Reporting live in Davidson, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM TV5. A lot of questions indeed. Thank you, Ronnie. Now, you can find much more, including today's press conference and our previous reports on this story at WNEM.com. And as police continue their investigation, the community is reacting strongly to the tragic end to the search. TV5's Andrew Keller joins us now live with our team coverage. Drew. Over the past couple of days, we've documented how many people have turned up to help the search for Amari and Humphrey. Of course, hundreds, if not thousands of people have showed up right here at Lake Callis where Amari went missing. Now, here's what an idea is of what's going on behind us. Of course, he was last seen at the Splash Park, just over 100 yards away is where they found his body this morning. That It was floating on top of the river. Sources tell me that it was actually a young girl who found the body. A, a, a young girl found uh, one, of the, one of his shoes that was floating at the top, and then shortly after police found him come to the top of the water. Now, one of the things that volunteers have done, they've combed this entire area and they've become emotionally attached to this entire story. And with this story, it's drawn the best out of some of the Davidson people. And we talked to one of the family members, uh, family members' friends tonight, and she says, A, she's thankful for all the help, and B, this uh, just, you know, it's very unfortunate, but it does give the closure that they've been waiting for. Me personally, I'm taking it personally because I went in the creek on Tuesday to um, look for him with some other um, authorities and we didn't find him. And to hear that he's in the beach, it's devastating, it's hurting. All I can say is he's with God now and he's at peace. But first, I can't accept it. Now that family friend tells me that uh, that she's very thankful. The family is very thankful for all the help that has poured out uh, in the search for Amari and Humphrey. Of course, as I just said, um, I talked to uh, family members off the camera, and they told me that this is a very upsetting fact, and that they are, um, you know, that this is just something that they did not want to have to deal with. Of course, we will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest. N. Davison, Andrew Keller, WNEM TV5. All right, thank you, Drew, and you can count on TV5 for updates. On, on online and on air as new information comes into the continuous news center.